Guys, welcome to Vader Bow Hot Toys. Here comes another video. Stay tuned. <laughs> Toy and film lovers, Vader Bow Toys here. Today we are going to discuss a very large franchise in the movie industry. It is of course Alien. Now guys, these are formidable creatures with acid blood. Um, Ridley Scott was an absolute genius to come up with this idea. It was um, a famous film back in the early, I think it was late 70s to be honest. But what's a film, guys? So we're going to talk about the films today. Um, I've already shown you loads of my toy collection. These are just a couple of little guys for the video. I just thought I'd put them there for the display. <laughs> anyway, guys, so let's go from Alien. Now, Alien tells you of a crew that gets called to a planet. And they land down there. And three, three of them go to a ship. One, I think it was Kane. He came back with the fin attached to his face. Now, again, it's, it's movie genius, guys. I mean, uh, to come up with this idea, you know, back then it was very scary. I still think it's a very good movie now, but, you know, scare-wise, no. But anyway, it's a good film. The alien wipes out the crew. And that is basically it. There's a star called Ripley. She's the main character in most of the Alien films. Um, well, the first four anyway. So, you know, she beats the Alien, gets out of the airlock. So, boom. Very first film done. Very good. Very good watch. Uh, very good for its time. The second film, my favourite of the franchise, is Aliens. Um, so many good things about this film. Loads of action. Loads of loads of blood's glory. Acid. Boom. Everything's there. Every. Throw it all in the mixer, mix it all up. And the only thing I didn't like about the film is they knew about the alien. They had all the info and the intel. They knew it had acid blood. They knew it was powerful. And yet they sent in a load of fucking marines with no guns, a shotgun and a couple of flamethrowers. Um, I think James Cameron made a boo-boo there. He could have made it a hell of a lot better. Okay, they could have killed a couple of marines in that in that part of the film, but they virtually knocked out the whole Marine squad, leaving four, I believe. Um, Hudson, Hicks, and um, the woman, I oh, also name, bloody hell. You know, I mean, anyway, sorry about that, my mind's going to blank. But a very good film. By far the best out of all of them for me. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they, they keep, there's always room, rumours that they're going to revisit this. Uh, Vasquez, that's it, sorry, <laughs> finally come to me, it's bugging me, I couldn't have the video about that, innit, but um, yeah, so, by far the best of the movie from franchise for me, um, moving on from that, you go to Alien 3, again, they, for me, they took a wrong turn, they said they land on a, a prison planet, um, Newt and Hicks are dead, um, Ripley is the only survivor. She has to shave her head because of the nits, apparently, or the lice, whatever it was. Um, obviously, all the guys, as you would, we're all men. You ain't had sex for a while and you throw a female on it, so she gets an attempt to rape her, but they get stuck up for. Ever behold, an alien gets on board. How that happened is beyond me. It's one of the biggest mysteries of all because, you know, there was no alien eggs um, on the ship. The alien queen was on the ship, but she had, uh, she needs that sack to release the eggs. And yet, heaven behold, there was a couple of uh, eggs on the ship. Alien get, uh, Ripley gets impregnated by the alien. At the end of the film, I won't tell you, you know, you'll know, she throws herself into a lava pit. And that's that. Alien 4, um, for me, was a bit far-fetched. They bring Ripley back. They make her from a DNA. Hey, get DNA from lava. Is beyond me, but hey, I'm not a scientist. Let's go that way. We'll go that way. But you know, the film wasn't that great. But for me, the, the alien was back, guys. That's all we wanted was the alien. The, the, we all love the alien. It's a great horror creature. So yes, it was great to be back. Uh, the, the, again, the, the 
the soldiers all started to run and they got wiped out pretty quick. They could have made that a lot more better. You had a couple of a few mercenaries who put up a bit of a fight. But, you know, that's that film. Then the, it went quiet for a while, as we all know. It, it went quiet. And then these these came back. These They wanted to show you a sort of an, an origin. So they brought out Prometheus. Now, when this film was first coming out, I was excited. I thought to myself, yes, we are going to find out how it all happened. But it never happened. It was a bit of a confusing film. Um, the, the, the guys were pretty cool in it. And the, the, the kind of alien creature at the end, you know, you got you got a face hugger that's like that. And in this film, it was like a giant squid kind of a face hugger. Which um, took out the guy at the end of the film. And you got you did get some sort of alien looking creature at the end. Uh, but for me, Prometheus could have been a lot better. Um, especially with the creators. Or whatever they were called. I think they were called creators. But very, very good. Um, it doesn't even tell you why the guy killed himself at the beginning. So for me, Prometheus was a bit of a, a weird one. Everyone was complaining about it. It wasn't just me. We wanted more answers. So then they released Co Covenant. Covenant, sorry. Alien Covenant, which was, in my eyes, a lot better than Prometheus. Um, because you actually had the original alien creatures back. Um, again, they took him out pretty quick. There was only uh, one, my one main alien, I believe. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really good watch. But um, you know, Rid it's Ridley Scott again. He come back, and I think it was Ridley Scott that done the album Prometheus as well. Yes, it was. But. Yeah, we need more aliens, guys. We need more alien movies. Uh, but for me, by far, alien, out of the six alien films, um, Aliens is by far the better. But I shouldn't have took out Sarge so quick. That's in my eyes. Um, a poem could have been a, a much bigger character. Um, so, out the, the, my least favourite is Alien 3. I know some people that's their favourite. You know, no weapons or nothing against an alien. It's, it is a pretty good story. But anyway, guys, there are two other alien movies, as you know. It's Alien vs. Predator. But I'll do that another day. Because, you know, it's a bit of a crossover between the Predator and the aliens. But, you know, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Any questions, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. Ask any questions you like. Especially about these films, because I'm pretty bloody knowledgeable about the old alien predators and all that um so guys keep watching keep tuning in i'll be doing a couple of toy videos today um keep smiling it's the virus is a load of bollocks i'm still oh sorry i shouldn't swear so much youtube might not like that but it, you know we've just got to keep going guys so keep smiling vader bow toys hat bye Thank you.